Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I just saw something really cool called Sharks of the Mediterranean, a Vanishing Kingdom. And basically, with all my uh, reviews of the real, of uh, the crazy shark movies like uh, the Mega Shark ones and the Shark Names and stuff, I also like watching the regular, the regular shark, the real shark uh, shows. And this was on Netflix. And I don't know if this was for an IMAX film or not, but it's from 2014. And it talks, I think it has some of the relatives from the legendary Jacques Cousteau. And they talk about the ships of Calypso. And basically, a lot of it, it's in a foreign language. However, it's dubbed in English. So you hear it dubbed in English. They don't talk, they talk just, a, there's like one uh, little part where they speak in English. The two guys basically hosting it. But mostly, you know, they talk and then they have uh, English narration. You know, talk over it. You know, it's like, it, it's kind of like dubbed, I guess. It's really interesting. They talk about how the Mediterranean used to be a pretty much a, a, a vast array of sharks back long, millions and millions of years ago. And now there's not as many sharks there as along like France and Italy and, and the Mediterranean. And uh, they, they just, basically the show is more, it's not as education. You might think it's basically more for entertainment purposes. You know, education and entertainment can go hand in hand. And uh, basically it's observation, exploration, and a little bit of speculation. Did you see them going in and diving with the sharks? There's a scene where uh, they have uh, this guy goes to this guy. It's like he has like a museum. He has all these like different uh, samples of different deep sea fish that live thousands of meters uh, below uh, the sea level. And he found a lot of these through years of uh, walking along the beaches between four and five in the morning because he had to find because a lot of times they'd wash on shore i guess and uh um, over years he got a whole bunch of different types of unique fish and he said usually he had to beat them before the seagulls came down to eat them and then they go to a uh, fishmonger's uh giant fish market and a lot of people were selling these deep sea fish like this one they caught like 700 meters it's all metric system in this one 700 meters below the sea and I don't know how what good eating some of these fish are, but, you know, I don't know Andrew Zimmern like like that. But they also talking about, have you ever caught sharks by accident? And they said they have. And basically the speculation is why they're not, they don't have as many sharks. is from uh, overfishing. They show lots of scenes of fishing and catching sharks. And a lot of times if they catch a shark with a shipment of fish, Everything is consumed, or if they don't need the shark, they don't send it back. They just leave it out to die, I guess. And they have uh, a whole bunch of stuff about that, and it's not protected land, at least not now. And then towards the end, they go to Mexico uh, to a marine reserve, and that's rich with life, including sharks. Lots of sea lions there. If you see sea lions... And uh, seals and stuff like that, you'll see tons of great white sharks. I love feeding on them because I know if they eat one uh, one sea lion, it has so much blubber that it can c sustain a shark for like over a month, just one. And I mean, that's like a that's like candy uh, candy in the candy store to these sharks, sea lions. And I have a photo. Uh, they also go back and they go to the Swiss mountains and they found this. Uh, one shark that was caught back in 1956, a great white shark, and they had it stuffed. It was the largest stuffed shark on record. I have a photo of this. I'm going to show it to you right now. But basically, that's, uh, that's why the show is about just speculation. They said, why can't uh, they go to the Marine Reserve at, you know, towards the end of the movie in Mexico and then they go back and they show like a little scene of the cow shark that they were looking for and they said that the Mediterranean was once a great kingdom, a vast uh, wonderland of sharks and they said it could be that way again if uh, we respect nature and you know that's basically the whole thing it's very entertaining, I like the show, I give it a 9 out of 10, like I said I wonder if it was IMAX because also on Netflix 
they have uh, Search of the Great Sharks, and that's a great IMAX show. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. It's like 38 minutes long, and it, and it well, the Mediterranean one was like 53 minutes long. This one was 38 minutes long, and it goes, I bought it on DVD back whenever Media Play was still around, and they were really pushing the IMAX movies. They even have a cool sample DVD I remember buying for two cents. Uh, and it was like a two-disc thing. It had like uh, like coming attractions for a whole bunch of IMAX movies. And then the second one had like special features and like some footage from different IMAX movies, including like a whole episode. Really interesting stuff. And uh, like I said, they were really pushing IMAX movies. And I wanted to see if I could find something about sharks. I knew there was one. I finally found it in, in Search of the Great Sharks, I believe it was called. And it's on Netflix, too. It's very entertaining. I had, Like I said, I have it on DVD. And it goes, they talk about the whale shark, the blue shark, and then finally the great white shark. And this guy's in this cage with this camera. And they have some really scary shots of the great white shark coming right towards the thing. And really scary shots. Point of view, I mean, it's really cool. I think you'll like that. That's a 10 out of 10. So these are two movies you can see on uh, Netflix. Real life things about sharks if you're... If you're tired of the shark natos and stuff, real shark stuff, Sharks of the Mediterranean, 9 out of 10, and, and Search of the Great Sharks, which is a 10 out of 10, that's fantastic. So, until next time, everybody, please take care. Bye.